Hello and welcome to Limerick in Ireland. It is the last session of the World Archery Youth Championships for 2023. Thank you for joining us today here at the arena for recurve individual finals action. We have eight matches in the session to enjoy. We have four in the under 18s, four in the under 21s. We have bronze medal and gold medal matches in the women's and men's competition. And thankfully the winners well, non-existent, and I say non-existent for now. We're touching wood today because the wind is expected to get up to around 10 kilometres per hour in this session. Heavy showers with that wind coming from the south, southeast uh, is expected to get strong at certain times, the high of 18 degrees today. So conditions could be quite variable. And as you can see, there is a spot or two of rain around at the moment. And there could be some heavy showers too at some stage. Glenn Lama's my name. It's a great pleasure to welcome back Gabby Schlosser, one of the world's very best in recurve archery, a world championship and Olympic Games medalist. Hi, Gabby. How's it going today? Hello, hello, Glenn. Pretty happy to be back here um, with you to be able to see what's going to happen in the competition. We see some new faces uh, today in the finals, but we see as well some people that we already um, had here shooting the finals venue. Yes, indeed. So some favourites have come through, but some unexpected names have come through as well. So we're looking to for, forward to seeing them all in action today. And we're going to start it off with the under-18 women's bronze medal match. And this will feature Chinese Taipei's Fong Yuchu and uh, up against Turkey's Dan Ye Yuni Hayat, who's just 14 years old and has done magnificently well. She qualified second into the individual competition and uh, the she's up against the fifth seed fong from chinese taipei so a wonderful effort here by the archer from turkey they are producing some interesting talent at the moment that is for sure as we welcome the archers to the shooting line Fong is a bronze medalist from earlier in the event. She won the bronze in the women's team's event. So she's going for her second medal of these championships. Had a, a couple of uh, shoot-offs earlier on in the day. One she won. That was in the quarterfinals against Lee Si Han. And then lost the semis against Yun Suhi of Korea, the top seed. 10-8 in the semis. And Dunya Yuni Hayat lost 7-3 to Zhu Jingyi of China in the semis and was involved in a shoot-off win against Gabrielle Sasai of the American, of the United States rather, in the 1-8 elimination. So some tight matches for both of these two as Yuni Haya gets a, underway with a 10. The archers uh, going at 80 metres, uh, sorry, 60 metres. And course we'll get the 20 we'll get the seven, full 70 meters for the under 21s a little later so the weather is going to be challenging but Gabby it looks like the wind is not too strong at the moment which should please the archers yeah it indeed looks like the weather is not affecting the archers it's raining a little bit that helps a little bit as well to calm the weather uh, both archers really strong we saw like all the way through uh, through the bronze medal match they showed really high scores it looked like the weather was a little bit better today and i mean turkey and chinese taipei two really strong archery teams it's really nice to see them both here in the final and there's the first 10 for fong but it's come too late of course to win the first set it's going to be taken by yeni hayat who uh, with those two tens from her first two arrows set up beautifully it is raining quite heavily at the moment as you can see, so 29 to 26. And isn't it great to see a 14 year old? She's already got a world ranking as well, Gabby. It's uh, 225, okay, it's down a bit, but you'd expect that with a 14 year old. <laughs> yes, indeed. I feel like uh, Turkey is a really um, strong archery team. Uh, the 
Turkey team has a really nice developing system that works with people that is really young. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me that she's already in the in the system. Um, I feel like they have a lot when you're young and when you are on experience, you have a lot to learn. But also what a nice experience to be able to train together with the Olympic yeah. champion, you know, yeah. they put them all together. Mete is training with them. They have really good coaches. They have um, a lot of people that has a lot of experience. And that, of course, motivates them to become better and better. And she seems very relaxed and enjoying the occasion here. So uh, it's good to see that someone that this young is enjoying herself. It's a big, uh, big moment in her life on uh, TV in a, in a world championship going for a bronze medal. Fong, though, is a good archer as well. She's 16, and now she has back-to-back 10s -back in this match. Yeah, really nice to see that she can fight the middle after a couple of arrows. Um, in the other side, she was right uh, there when she started the match. Um, this is, of course, a really nerve-wracking match, but I think that they are both handling it pretty well. Yes, indeed. Other than that seven, that first arrow of the first set from Fong, all the other arrows in the match so far have been in the yellow. And Yeni Hayat not too far away from back-to-back -back tens again. So she's got a, it's a lock score line with one arrow left in the set. As Fong just waits for that breeze just to settle a touch. Oh, just away from the... 10 zone. It was only a couple of millimetres. That gives Yeni Hayat a chance here to go to 4-0. Which he's taken. That was clutch. What a great last arrow. Yeah, amazing shooting for uh, from Dunya. So 29-28. Yeni Hayat claims the first two sets, just one set away from victory now. She looks very determined, and I like her composed and relaxed setup. I'm sure, the, the heart is racing over 100 beats per minute comfortably, Gabby, but it's as you know, it's important to control it, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like she has it under control. She looks really serious, but she also looks like she is... Um, having some contact with the crowd, talking with her coach, communicating about how she feels. And I'm pretty sure that that is helping her a lot, staying easy, staying quiet, and um, just enjoying what she's doing. Well, other than that first arrow, Fong hasn't put too much wrong either. She's just been outscored. It's as simple as that. So here is the third set now. Fong now needs to get something out of it. She needs at least a tie. Or a win here. She loses the sets over. And Fong just grabbing the, the line there for a nine. Seven. Well, there's the first loose one from Yeni Hayat. A big chance now for Fong to move forward in this set. Well, that means Fong can claim the set with a 10. Get on the board here in this bronze medal match in the under-18 women. Just away again. So, the match will go into a fourth set, regardless of what happens here. But Yeni Hayak can get a tied set with a 10, and she's just missed it. So, Fong... Wins by a point. So we're on four set points to two now. It looked a little bit like uh, Dunya uh, was a little bit more nervous. Uh, it looked like she had less control over her shooting. Uh, she was moving her bow a little bit, uh, which it can be understandable for... Um, you know, like sometimes you want the match to finish as fast as as far as possible, um, so you could like 
just celebrate and be happy about that. Um, but she looked like she was a little bit more nervous, uh, which is understandable. I feel like she just needs to stay quiet uh, and calm. Um, she needs to do what she was doing in the first two hours, two ends, I'm sorry, and um, everything will be all right. Fong, in the meantime, needs to keep fighting. So an intriguing match here. Fourth set now. It's worth mentioning, Yuni Hayat still there. She, same goal for her in this set as the last one. Two more set points and she's got the match. And same target for Fong. Needs something out of the set to take it to the decider. Great start for Fong. Fong's 10 just before is her third of the match. Yuni Hyatt has four. Oh, now Fong starting to heat up. This is good from the Chinese Taipei Archer. She's absorbed the pressure that Yuni Hyatt was able to create early on the scoreboard. There's a beauty from Yuni Hyatt. So this is a good set. Fong can win it though with another 10. That is fantastic. A perfect set there for Fong. And we are going to a deciding set now in this bronze medal match. Well, it's two nines and a 10 there for Yuni Hayat. So great comeback from Fong, Gabby. Yeah, uh, it's amazing how she managed to come back. Uh, she's been shooting pretty good. Uh, 26 is not a bad score, uh, but she, I mean, since she found the, the center of the target, she hasn't uh, left. I feel like she looks really secure about what she's doing. And um, yeah, I think that like if she wants to uh, win the match, she needs something from, uh, from the same, you know? Well, the game basically becomes a one set match now, this one. Both archers have five tens in their 12 arrows. It's great stuff from Fong. Never pleasant being 4-0 down, but it is very pleasing to fight back from that deficit, which she's done nicely. So here we go. It's the fifth and final set. Four set points each. Bronze medal at stake here for these two. And it's Turkey's Dunya Yuni Hayat to go first. Starts off with a 10. Good work. Yeah, she looks really happy about that one. Just a touch high. Big deep breath from Yeni Hayat. Just to expel a bit of nervous energy. Ooh, that's interesting. So here's the door wide open now for Yeni Hayat. A 10 or a 9 is going to be good enough for her to win. And she's got the 9, and there it is. She's got the bronze medal. She came through nicely there, held her nerve. Fong will be disappointed with that last arrow. It's cost her... A big chance, even though she's come back with a 10 to finish. It won't be enough. She's going to finish one point behind in this fifth and final set. So it's Turkey's Dunya Yeni Hayat, the 14-year-old, who's going to win the bronze medal in the women's under-18 recurve individual. A great effort. Well, good one, good match that one, Gabby, to open the day's proceedings. Yeah, I feel like both archers kept fighting for uh, that medal. Uh, we saw the archer that started winning, uh, taking the match. Um, they both showed amazing scores. I feel like 26, 27, 28, 30 is just uh, so, something you can be happy with. 
Um, congratulations to both archers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this week is going to be really present in their memories. Um, and congratulations to uh, Dunya Yuni Hayat for winning the bronze medal. Yeah, she's going to stand on the podium, and that's a great achievement for someone of her age. I don't think we've had a 14 year old on the podium here this week until now, which is fantastic. And Turkey look like they've got a fantastic prospect for the future here. Pretty amazing, Gabby, that she could still be at the next three World Youth Championships, which is amazing. Oh my God! Oh my God! I didn't think it, I think it, I didn't think it about uh, that way. Um, it's pretty amazing what Turkey is doing with. Um, with the system they have. Uh, we have seen pretty good archers, Mete Gasos winning the Olympics uh, two years ago. And um, also uh, Yasemina Nagos uh, getting fourth place uh, together with Mete Gasos in, the, in Tokyo as well. I feel like they have pretty good archers and they also have pretty, uh, they also have a, a lot of people that are hungry for uh, winning, you know? Absolutely. Yes, I remember Anna Goz and uh, Gazos from the Youth Olympic Games back in 2014. And it's just been incredible to watch their their uh, development and progress since they emerged there for the first time on the international stage. Wonderful to see both of them and particularly, particularly Gazos. I mean, winning the Olympic gold medal, as you know, an in individual competition is not easy at all. And he did fantastically well. Here is our next match. And one of the stories of the day today will be the Korean... Korean uh, influence and quest to win all gold medals across all divisions today. They've got gold medal opportunities, and here is the first one today. Yun Sun Hee of Korea up against Ju Jin Yi in the final of the under 18s. The top seed into the final. And Zhu here is the third seed. Now, both of these two have won medals here earlier in the championship. Zhu won silver in the women's teams and bronze in the mixed teams. And Yun was part of the Korean team that won the gold medal in the women's teams. So she's going to for double gold here. Both have had, uh, Zhu's gone through all four of them, her matches fairly comfortably. No shoot off wins in there. And she's done quite well to move through her matches. And Yun, three comfortable wins. And then that semi final win went to a shoot off over Fong. She won that one 10 8. So she was taken to the brink of defeat there. Yun, but came through the Korean to win. So here we go. It's the final now of the under 18s. Yun Su Hee to go first. Starts off with a 10. And as I touched on, Gabby, they've got gold medal prospects in all four divisions today. Can they sweep all four gold medals? It's going to be interesting to see. Well, I feel like uh, we have seen a lot of um, good archers, uh, good Korean archers in this tournament. Of course, we cannot forget uh, India and um, China also doing uh, or being pretty strong in the finals as well. These archers, like I said to you a couple of days ago, we're going to see some faces that we have seen before. Um, and and that happened, you know, like I feel like these, both, these two archers, they kept fighting all the way to the finals. And look, amazing 30 there from uh, Sohi. Yeah, fantastic from Yun Sohi. Perfect set to start the match. And there's a great last arrow from Ju. But 30 to 18, to 228 rather. It's going to lock in the first set. That rain is coming down quite heavily now, but at least it's not windy. And I guess the challenge, you've got to try and keep the hands dry, right, Gabby, when it's raining like this? Yeah, yeah, you want to keep your equipment dry. You want to keep your hands dry as well. You want to stay also a little bit um, warm because the rain uh, makes you lose a lot of feeling. And the, yeah, the weather conditions can make you lose a lot of feeling. Um, and that's what both archers are doing. We want, we see on one side the Korean coach holding an umbrella for the archer. Uh, and on the other side, we saw uh, the Chinese archer uh, cleaning the, the grip 
uh, where we put our hand. Uh, that's also really important to don't have any moving you don't want to have. So challenging, but it's good to see that windsock in the background there looking nice and calm today. So here comes Shu to start the second set. And that's better, her second 10 of the match, back to back two. She beat uh, Dunya Uni Hayat. 7-3 in that uh, semi-final. And uh, we're going to get a pause here because of the rain, the heavy rain, after that first arrow of the second end. There has... Uh, did I hear a thunderclap just before? And that does... And there is some thunder, actually, in the forecast as well, Gabby. So maybe that's the reason why we're having play suspended. Yeah, I've heard that they are going to suspend it. Uh, yeah, we heard, like, really bad weather conditions there. Um, I think that's uh, pretty safe for the archers. You know, we cannot uh, shoot when the when there's uh, thunder because the equipment um, can attract some uh, thunder to us. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting to see that here. I didn't expect that at all. I thought today was going to be a better day. <laughs> Well, we got the best weather yesterday, didn't we, for the compound yeah. individuals. So what we might do is just pause there, folks, and uh, hopefully this delay won't be too long, and uh, we will come back when play resumes here in Ireland. We're uh, just at the start of the under-18 women's gold medal match. There's still plenty more archery to come as we just hear that clap of thunder right now. So hopefully this weather improves, and we'll be back with more action very shortly. Well, that's no good. Crazy that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. And I think that... <laughs> no, I just lost...
will be taking to the field of play very shortly. They will shoot one hand of practice arrows and then play will resume in about three and a half minutes. Thank you. 
plates, and I'll play one with you. Well, thank you for staying with us, folks, here from the World Archery Youth Championships in Limerick. After that uh, thunder and lightning delay, we are almost back into action. The archers are just going through a one-set warm-up before the match will resume. This is the under-18 women's gold medal match between Yun sun -hee of the Korean Republic and Zhu Jingyi of China. And the match, has, what went the match was suspended. Yun had won the first set and 20, uh, 30 to 28, and Ju had just uh, scored a 10 with her first arrow when the archers left the shooting line. So that's where we are. The match will resume in just a moment, and fingers crossed that will be the last, the one and only time we will be disrupted today due to the weather, eh, Gabby? Yeah, difficult weather conditions there in Limerick. Um, let's hope that it, that's the only time that we are going to see that. Uh, also, kind of uh, weird situation here. Like, you never get um, time to shoot a practice uh, practice end here in the finals venue, but I think the archers deserve it. I feel like uh, the weather, they, they cannot control the weather. Um, so, uh, but they can prepare for it. Yes, it's a very good point. So, it looks like the two archers are ready to go again. So, we have eight matches on the schedule today. We got through one with the Turkish archer Dunya Yeni Hayat winning the bronze medal in the under 18 women's. You can see the rain is still falling very steadily, though. They can compete in the rain, as we, as you, uh, I'm sure, know. It's just thunder and lightning, which can be dangerous. So, action to resume in just a moment. Of course, one of the big stories today, can Korea win all four gold medals in the under-18s? Women's and men's and the other 21s today. They've got finalists in all four age groups and categories. So let's see if they can go on with it here. But Xu doing her best to make sure that doesn't happen. We also need to remember that the uh, Chinese archers shot an arrow before they suspend the competition. That arrow also counts for the competition because if you shoot an, shoot an arrow, um, you cannot take it back. So. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, so it would be Yun to go now. This is her first arrow of the second set. It'll be interesting to see if uh, this disruption can interrupt the momentum of athletes and archers. Of course, Mike too was saying that the moisture can actually change the size of the target too. It can shrink the target the other day, Gabby, as well. Yeah, yeah, the um, target also can be affected by the rain. Um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I don't know if it can be affected so quickly uh, in like one, uh, like a five set match. Um, but let's hope that doesn't happen for the archers because it's, I don't think it's fair, you know? Well, there's a clutch arrow there. She had the look, didn't she? You're near the determination to get a 10 there to tie the set. And she has 27 points each. And she'll take a 3-1 lead after two sets now in this gold medal match. She's still looking relaxed. She's still looking like she's enjoying her shooting. Um, a little bit uh, funny to see after they need to suspend uh, the the match for a little bit. Uh, but happy to see that she's still enjoying what she's doing. Also, 
uh, she she looks really really focused on what she's doing. She we saw the same uh, in her team matches. I think that she knows how to win, and I'm pretty sure that she's going to try to do it. Um, on the other side, the Korean archers, she just looks so strong. I feel like they are both really focused on what they are doing, and yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I'm pretty sure this this suspension or this um, 30 minute delay didn't affect them. So third set now, and we're at three set points to one with Yun leading. Ju still fighting hard in this uh, contest. Two tens so far from her seven arrows, and Yun has four, including that perfect set in the first set. Feel for Zhu, she's just missing most of her nines. Gabby are very close to the 10 zone. Yeah, it does look really, really close. It, it, she started also with that 28, which is really, really good. Um, but Archer's shooting really, really good. Just um, June, so he uh, has luck and she she's shooting in, in the 10, you know? Yep, and here could be another one right now. Yun, a 9 or a 10, will win this set and take her to match point. And she has a 10. Fantastic last arrow. That's the second set in a row she's finished with a 10. And that was excellent archery from her. She's going to take that set 29 to 27 and now leads by 5-1. They have an amazing ability. So many of the Korean archers. When a 10 is required, they stand on the shooting line and they deliver. I'm pretty sure they. she has been training a lot, preparing for this competition. We all know uh, Korean archers, they train a lot. Uh, we also know uh, China Chinese archers, they also train a lot. Uh, but yeah, when you have um, two archers uh, like we see today, yeah, this is just... Who has who can be, who can control it better in the line and who can shoot tense and who can handle the pressure? So here we go, fourth set. Ju now needing to win the set to prolong the match. Good start. Yun, right back at you. Great first arrow from her. Oh, that could be costly. It, Yun's got the bit between her teeth. Feels like she's really flexing her muscles now. It's a nine, so Yun for the gold medal. Needs an eight or higher. Even a seven or higher will do it. But of course it's a ten. Yun Sun He takes the gold medal. Wonderful win for her. And she ends the match just like she started with a perfect set of 30. And what a talent she is. The 15-year-old is on the path of international glory claiming gold here at the world archery youth championships by seven set points to one yeah amazing shooting there i feel like uh june so he looked like she could replicate her shots uh like do them in the same way always and always and always while in the other side with uh Shu, we saw that she had a little bit of a struggle sometimes she released really nice and the other time she released a little bit uh yeah, different than what she was doing before, uh, but amazing shooting from both of them. And due to the situations, I feel like um, 
they can be really happy they both st stood there and kept shooting their arrows. Well, great day for Yun Sun Hee. She wins her second gold of these games, having also won in the women's teams. And uh, even Zhu has done fantastic work as well, winning two silvers and a bronze here. Silver in the individual now to go along with her teams. Silver and bronze in the mixed teams. And Yun Sun Hee, what a delight she was to watch through these championships. The smile on her face, Gabby. The uh, determination to win. She's uh, great to watch. That's something we really uh, enjoy seeing. I feel like she was happy from the start on. She just kept shooting her arrows. It looked like she was enjoying what she was doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Really happy for her. Uh, I hope she keeps that spirit for her next upcoming competitions, and I wish her a lot of success. So the heavy rain that has swept through Limerick has gone for the meantime. We hope that will be the last of the the nasty weather today, which forced that uh, thunderstorm delay during the under-18 women's. We've got six matches to come. The under-18 men's bronze medal match is coming next, followed by the gold, and then we'll have the under-21 matches. We're also standing by two for that uh, victory ceremony for the under-18 women, which is coming very shortly. Congratulations, gold medalist here in Limerick. How are you feeling? 축하드립니다. 오늘 개인전 우승을 하셨습니다. 소감을 말씀해 주십시오. 많이 긴장이 됐는데 코치님께서 뒤에서 잘 해주셔서 힘든 상황에서도 이겨낼 수 있었습니다. I was quite nervous uh, for the games, but uh, we made a great uh, collaboration with my coach during the games. So. Uh, I'm happy with the result. Fantastic. And uh, it seemed quite comfortable, even though there was a break in play, you came back and carried on with what you were doing before. 어, 중간에 경기가 잠깐 중단됐다가 다시 경기를 재개했는데 경기를 재개했을 때도 그 전에 중단되기 전 같이 되게 편안하게 슈팅을 잘 하셨던 것 같은데 어떻게 경기를 운영하셨나요? 최대한 자신 있게 하려고 많이 노력했고 자세를 되게 많이 신경 쓰고 썼었어요. I try to uh, shooting with my confidence and uh, I try to focus on my shooting as much as possible. And then after this big win today, where do you see yourself in the future? Where is this going to take you the next to the next level? 오늘 개인전 유스 세계 선수권 대회 개인전 우승으로 향후의 개인적인 어떤 목표나 어, 계획이 있으십니까? 올림픽 나가서 선관왕 하는 거입니다. I want to be in Olympic Games uh, as the other archers goals, uh, and I want to get a, a three gold medals in the Olympic Games. Fantastic. Well, good luck with that, and congratulations. 축하드립니다. Thank you. Yeah, what great spirit she has. It's a wonderful winner there of the under-18 women's gold medal, Yun Sun Hee of Korea. Have a uh, Korean in the final of the under 18 men's gold medal match coming up as well. That will be Choi Chul Yun. And then in the, we got an all Korean gold medal matchup in the women's under 21s. Two Koreans making the final there. And in the 
under 21 men's who have a Korean who has made it through Song in Jun. So all of them, all of the four medals today, could they be won? All the four golds, could they be won by Korea? Well, they're definitely going to win two of them. Now come the medalists now for the medal ceremony for the under 18 women. Countries represented, Korea as we've just seen, China and Turkey. A wonderful effort from Dunya Yeni Hayat from Turkey. Good win over Fong Yuqiu of Chinese Taipei. Six set points to four. Really came strong in the last set. Made a very strong start to the match, but Fong came back. Yeni Hayat has got a huge future in the sport. She qualified as the second seed. Fantastic effort. Uh, went all the way through to win the bronze medal having just lost the one match to Jew in the semi-finals the 14 year old doing great here in Limerick pretty sure we're gonna be seeing more from her later on silver medal to Zhu Xingyi 16 year old she qualified third and uh, she stands on the podium for the third time here in Limerick. Silver in the teams and bronze in the mixed team. So very successful time here in Ireland for Jute, even though she didn't quite get to first place in either of those three, but to take away three medals is still a very good achievement for Jute. Gold medal representing Republic of Korea. And up she goes to stand on top of the podium for the second time here at these World Archery Youth Championships. Very strong performance in that final. Two perfect sets of 30 in her 7-1 win. And uh, clear ambitions to go all the way to the Olympic Games at some stage in the future. And who knows, we might be seeing her in, uh, I don't know, LA in 2028. We might see her there. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Republic of Korea. Well, more success for Korea here at these World Archery Youth Championships with Yun Sunhee winning gold in the women's under 18 recurve individual championships. Zhu Xingyi of China getting the silver and Dunya Yuni Hayat of Turkey getting the bronze medal. We move to the under 18 men's next. First up, we've got France's Baptiste Adis up against Brandon Nanjunsi of Australia. And then we have the gold medal match 
coming up between Romans Sergeyevs of Latvia and Choi Chun-yun of Korea. So stay with us for those matches. Let's get into the action now. The under-18 men's here on final start recurve individuals. And uh, we've got a match between France and Australia now. And uh, about to come out of Baptiste Adis, 16-year-old who's already rocketed up the world rankings. He's 21 in the world. And Brandon Nunji of Australia, who only qualified a lowly 51st, but has had a wonderful time to get through to this bronze medal match winning five matches before losing in the semi-finals to the Korean Choi. But Adis is going to be a very formidable opponent. He was the top qualifier. Massive 15 points clear of second place. Huge support too from his compatriots in the stands. Brandon Nangjin set of Australia, who's 16 years of age. So Adis, bit of a mixed bag from him in the earlier matches, winning two matches very comfortably, but the other two is involved in shoot-offs. He won one and lost one. He lost to Sugiyevs of Latvia in the semis, 10-9 in the shoot-off. Brandon Langjung Jun Set has won two of his five matches in shoot-offs. And uh, on the way to this match here, he has beaten two top 10 seeded players. So he's done brilliantly well. But can he carry on his good form here and beat one of the world's best? Baptiste Adis of France. So here we go, the bronze medal match. It's going to be the Frenchman to go first. Every time the arrow goes into the eight zone, a little few oohs and ahs from the crowd, particularly from Adis. So we're dead even after two arrows in this first set. We see both archers shooting pretty quick. It can be that they are a little bit nervous and that they um, uh, that they want to shoot their arrow as soon as they, uh, as soon as they can, so they can like not think about it. Uh, we see uh, Baptiste of this, uh, this uh, group a little bit on the left high, and we see Brandon's uh, finding the middle. I feel like they both, um, Brandon looks a little bit shaky. I feel like he has the less experience here in the shooting final, but they both looking pretty good. Well, that great last arrow there from Siet has won him the set. Brilliant effort to shoot a 10, and now we're getting him smiling, which is good. So he wins that first set by 27 to 24. Adis, 9-8-7. Not the scores he would have been wanting to open this match. Scores from Australia in the lead, 
lots of support for Adis. So he's going to have to, and he knows this, he knows he's going to have to start scoring tens. But that was a very clutch arrow from set to win the first set. You know, in qualification, Gabby, they shoot 72 arrows, as you know. See, only got seven tens in the whole qualification. So he clearly has seriously improved since qualification day. Uh, it looked like he was saving them for, for today when he needed them the most. And, um, I mean, what a best moment to do it. Oh, can he beat the top seed? Yeah, for the bronze medal. It's the first 10 of the match for Adis. See, looking a little shaky with that one, but still getting it in the yellow. Yes, that is going to win the second set for Adis. Very, very composed scoring there from him. And he's going to take this comfortably as it turned out in the end by three points 29 to 26. so Adi's back after dropping that first set two set points each i did look like baptiste found the middle looked like he went back to his coach talked to him a little bit shake off the nerves a little bit and went back and did what he what he knows uh to do on the other side, I still feel like uh, Brandon is doing amazing. Um, I mean, what an achievement today, you know, like uh, being for, for coming from place number 51 to the top four. That's really strong shooting that um, I think he's doing amazing. Yeah, wonderful effort. This Australia have had a couple of moments, of course, down through the years in the sport. Simon Fairweather, of course, winning the gold in Sydney 23 years ago now. Even recent times, Taylor Worth has come through and made a bit of a splash from time to time as well. Maybe Brandon Nung Jun Se is the next one to put his name up in lights. We will see as Baptiste Adis gets the third set underway. He's just two ten so far. Set has won. Now Dees just feels like he's starting to heat up. But back comes the Australian. Amazing shooting from both of, the, both of them. It looks like Baptiste, when he shoots his arrows with a real nice timing, that the arrows go in the middle. And on the other side, we see it a little bit more shaky, but like landing in the tent as well. Amazing shooting shot there. Well, it's going to be a tight set. Fantastic uh, composure shown by Set. He does not seem rattled. He's got uh, one of the key things in the sport, as you know, Gabby. It doesn't matter who you're playing. You know, at the end of the day, you can't control what they can do. You can only control what you do. And Sid looks like he's sorted that out in his head. He's taken the, the opponent right out of the equation. Yeah, that's the thing about archery. I feel like it's you and your bow and your target. And you cannot focus on what the other one is doing because then you forget what you're doing. And uh, we don't want that. We want to be always 100% there for the shot and release it as can, we can. Well, they went arrow for arrow in that set, 29 all. 19-10 for both of them. So three set points each. Beautifully poised this match now with two sets to go. Bronze medal at stake for the winner of this match. I think that might be a nine. Well, it's been ruled a 10 by the ground announcer, but I'm not convinced that it's touched the line. That one definitely hasn't. What do you think about that first arrow from Addis, Gabby? I do think it's a 10, uh, same as this one. <laughs> but I, I, in my opinion, it looks really close to the line. Back comes Brandon wow. Nunjong 
set. So, Atis with a one-point advantage. One arrow left in this fourth set. Oh, yes, that's fantastic. Last arrow now coming up for set. And he's astray, so even that first arrow now doesn't matter from Adiz. He will win this fourth set and go to match point. Well, we can really give credit to Adiz. He's banging in at least two tens a set at the moment, and he is starting to hit his straps, or has hit his straps pretty well now, Gabby. Yeah, we saw also his first match, match him shooting 30-30-30-29. is amazing what he is what he's doing i feel like uh he's really focused uh i mean he's used to shooting 70 meters um i'm pretty sure that 60 meters could be a little bit uh easier for him but i mean he's showing us that that it doesn't matter if he's 60 it doesn't matter if he's 70 uh he needs stems and he's shooting them yeah absolutely yes it is worth mentioning that again these archers in the under 18 category Shooting distance is 60 meters. And Ardis, very accomplished 70 meter shooter. So, yes, the perfect set there for Ardis. 30 to 28. He leads five set points to three. So, here we go with the final set. And that could pay for that one the way Ardis is scoring at the moment. Yep. I can tell you that's six tens in a row now to Adis. He is going fantastic. Yeah. Oh, see, got that one spot on. Well, the streak is over at six, but still Adis leads by one point with one arrow left. Sid needs a 10. He can't deliver one. So here is Adis. Maybe he just needs to tie the set. It's going to be an eight or higher to win the bronze medal. Wow. And it's a 10. What else could it be from Adis? Very good performance from Francis Baptiste Adis. He is quite the talent at the age of 16. He is going to be a superstar in this sport, it seems, in the years to come. Baptiste Adis wins bronze here in Limerick by seven set points to three. Yeah, amazing shooting from Baptiste. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to get a good feeling from this competition. He brings home a bronze medal. Uh, congratulations to him and congratulations. Uh, the whole tour tournament was really nice from him. He goes home as well with a uh, gold medal in the team and he qualified first. That's also a big achievement. And let's talk about Brandon Nanju Si as well. Great effort from him to come all the way. Hard luck for him today, but he gave it a good crack, Gabby. Yeah, I mean, he just uh, kept fighting. He shot a really good match, 27, 26, 29, 28, 27. Um, I feel like he can go home and he can be happy about today. And, um, like, I, I think that we can expect seeing him more in the future upcoming competitions. Yeah, brilliant effort from him to get through beating... Virtually everyone he beat today was, well, yes, I can confirm, everyone he beat today was higher ranked than him, but he just uh, got a bit tight towards the end there against the number one seed and, of course, the Korean Choi Chul-yun, who we're going to see in just a moment compete for the gold medal, and he's going to be up against the Latvian Romans, Sergeyevs. So looking forward to that match beginning very shortly. Stay with us. Oh, much like Sia, who we've just seen in action, our two finalists for the gold medal have also come through from low rankings. The Latvian Roman Sugayev's 29th in the world ranking in the world rankings in the rankings for the qualification for this competition, and Choi Chulyun just 26th. But we know how good Korean archers are. Now he comes. He beat Sia 7-3 in the semi-finals. So beat one of his compatriots in the quarters, Ji Yi Chan. 
And what a Sergeyev's here. 29th in the rankings. Beat Adis in a shoot-off in the semi-finals, 10-9. Choi is already a silver medalist here in the team's competition. French team too strong for Korea in that match. Five set points to three. So Sergeyev's here. Beat Adis 10-9 in a shoot-off in the semis, as I touched on. And going back through all his other wins, fairly comfortable. There was one 6-4 back in the round of... in the early rounds over a Czechia archer, but... Other than that, he's looked very good. So this should be an interesting match, this one. As we get it underway, it's going to be Choi to start. Nice comeback from the Latvian. No. Now there's a chance for him to take the first set, but he needs the maximum score. Oh, he's a centimetre left. Hard luck. It's going to be a shared first set, 28 each. Yeah, it looks like both archers yeah. start pretty good. Um, it looked like they both looked a little bit um, nervous. We see a little bit more uh, focus on the Korean side. Uh, we see a little bit more, uh, yeah, uh, the Latvian uh, archer looks a little bit more shaky, but it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like um, as long as you shoot them in the middle, we'll be fine. It doesn't matter how you shoot them, right? That's right. Yeah, it's all about where the arrow goes into the target. Ultimately, all that matters. So, 28 each. Nicely poised after the first of. Best of five set encounter. So Latvian, Sergeyevs, and Choi, the Korean, one set point each. Nine. Good support for the Latvian too, as you can hear. Is 16 going for gold here, and the Latvian starting to heat up. Wow, very really nice uh, couple of dents he shot there. I feel like Choi needs to move his side a little bit. Um, he looks like he has a really nice group, uh, right low. He probably overcorrected there, uh, shot a nine left high. Here's the Latvian going for the set win, though, and yes, he's done wow. it. Brilliant stuff there from him. A perfect set of 30 from him, and he's going to take the second set and go to 3 1 in the match. It always looks good when you get a 10 10 10 on your scorecard, Gabby. I wouldn't be mad <laughs> about that. <laughs> uh, no, it's really nice what we're seeing from uh, Romans there. 
I feel like he he looks a little bit shaky to me, but it looks like he is enjoying what he's doing. It looks like um, I mean he came all the way through to the gold medal match, and um, I'm pretty sure that to be able to do that, you need to shoot a lot of things. He practiced the whole day. He is ready for the medal match. Looks really nice to me. So three set points to one. Choi has some work to do here. Only one ten from six arrows so far. Eight. <laughs> Left arm is shaking a little bit as he's uh, in a setup, isn't he, Gabby? But he's holding strong and firm, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like he is indeed. Um, if you see, if you look at his target, his knights are also really close to the 10. It looks like he is, yeah, just shooting them and he's shooting them good. Um, we don't know his style of shooting, of course. Uh, probably it's just something he does uh, just because he learned how to shoot like that. <laughs> indeed. All right, let's have a look here. So, a chance here with that nine for Sergeyevs to. Claim the third set as well with a 10. Oh, he's wide. He's in fact lost the set with that eight. Wow, big last arrow there for the Latvian. And yeah, not happy, is he? Nothing he can do about it now. He's just got to put it behind him and move on. But that score right there has meant that Choi wins the set by a point and has locked up the match at three set points each. It looks like everything is even now. I feel like they both uh, have shot their arrows. They, you can see also both reactions when they shot their arrows out of the yellow, outside the yellow, I'm sorry, that they knew what was happen why was that arrow outside the yellow and why it wasn't in the 10. Um, I'm pretty sure they both know what they need to do to, um, to shoot their arrows in the 10. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm like now that it, everything is straight three, I appreciate they made it for us to enjoy the match and be able to be here and get excited together with them. Well, Choi screaming out there to get the nervous energy out and focus on the shooting line for the all-important fourth set. just above the 10 zone. No. Oh, Choi's been consistent, but he's not getting those arrows into the 10 zone as regularly as he would like. Sergeyevs gets in there. He's holding it together beautifully at the moment. Good match, this one, for the gold medal. That's what we expect from Choi, more of that. So, locks in 28. Sergeyevs can win the set, though. Oh, he's tied it. Just grabbing the line. Second set in a row, Gabby, where the Latvian could have won the set. He almost missed out again there. Yeah, I feel like it's really difficult sometimes to shoot your, their last arrow knowing what your opponent shot. Um, that's what makes uh, alternate shooting a little bit more complicated than um, than just shooting your arrows straight at a time uh, as fast as you can. I feel like they are, like I'm telling you, they are here, they know we're watching, they know we are um, enjoying the match and they are just showing us how, how we, how, yeah, how we need to do it. It's really nice to see that the scoring has been also really, really high from both sides. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious about what was hap what's going to happen in the last end. Well, yes, it's perfectly set up now. It's a one set match for the gold medal with four set points each. It's a three arrow contest. Choi to go first. Sergeyevs from Latvia. Off the 10 from Choi. Great response. Oh, 
Oh, Choi leaving his best till last here. Back to back tens at a critical time of the match. All the scoreboard pressure now on Sergey Evs. Wow. Who responds brilliantly. So now it's a one arrow contest. This is basically a one arrow shoot off here. Choi with an eight. So Sergeyev's the target is nice and big for him now. This for a gold medal. He needs this arrow to go into the yellow. And it has a gold medal to Latvians. Roman Sergeyev's. How about that? The 29th seed has come through and won gold. What a win for him. That is absolutely brilliant. Crazy to see that amazing shooting from Roman there. I feel like uh, probably the qualification wasn't, uh, like probably he, it took time for him to adjust to the weather conditions. Probably that's why the qualification went a little bit um, yeah, I don't want to say bad, but it went a little bit less than, than what he's used to. But amazing to see a newcomer, a new uh, country on the podium. It's really nice to see that uh, th that Roman did this. Um, I'm pretty sure he can go home and he can be happy about this week. Nice, nice shooting. Well, they should roll the red carpet out for him, Gabby. That was an absolutely brilliant win for him. Superb stuff. And uh, well, he got a bit tight on those last uh, arrows, the two previous sets, but he delivered when it really counted. And that eight from Choi, that last arrow from him, that was hugely costly for him. But that's the sport of archery. And Latvian fans, look at the emotion there. That is fantastic to see. I don't know well, if that's it his looks family like... or teammates, Gabby, but that's really cool. Yeah, it looked like they were also, uh, like, it looked like they also won. I'm pretty sure that they're really happy for him. <laughs> Seeing them, I even want to cry myself as well. Real nice for Latvia, real nice for Roman, the coach, everything that has been working hard the last few months to be ready for this day. Well, he did superbly well. And look at that, that great reaction right there as that arrow sailed into the nine. In fact, it was ruled a 10, so he's ended the match with a perfect set. 30 from 30. What a time to deliver. And he'll stand on top of the podium very shortly. Good match from Choi to win the silver. And, of course, it was Baptiste Adis winning the bronze. We'll be back for the ceremony very shortly. Congratulations, gold medal here in Limerick. How are you feeling? I, I just don't know it, how it was, but I do my I do the best of myself. So thank you for the congratulations. I feel adrenaline, so my hands are shaking. I don't know what to, what what to speak. So 
<laughs> and it was um, a very, very close match. Yeah. How did you feel, you know, when that final arrow hit? Oh, I just shaking my sh my body was shaking and just I need to shot my shot and uh, there will uh, it will be and it does. And then, so you have gold medal here. What are you expecting and hoping for the future? For the future, I will hope to get in the national team. But Yanis Ikubanets, please, you will you see what I can. Just yeah. I think I will start uh, practicing at 70 meters because I want to get in the national team and shoot uh, World Cups and the World Championships. Perfect, congratulations, well done. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh, what a great interview that was, fantastic. How cool, Gabby. Yeah, it looked like uh, he indeed didn't know what to do, what to say. Uh, you you could just see how excited he was. Yeah, just really happy for Roman. So I think that um, we see a new, a new face. We see a new archer that has a lot of hunger, that wants to win some more tournaments. Really happy to see that that he's coming from Latvia, that he can also, that he's uh, yeah, like also showing uh, people what he can do and. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like I said, we're going to see more from him uh, in the future. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. He looks like a good character. And looks like the practice from 70 metres is going to need to start in earnest for him. So here, out he comes to get his gold medal. And joining him on the podium, Choi Chuljun and Baptiste Adis. And it's going to be a neat moment here. The Latvian national anthem played very shortly. Three 16-year-olds winning the medals. The under-18 men's gold. Under-18 men's recurve individual, rather. Get the feeling Baptiste Adis is going to be standing on a lot of podiums in his career. He is a, certainly a very fine prospect. Amazing performance from him to get the bronze medal. He won gold in the teams, made the quarterfinals of the mixed teams as well. So, two medals for him gold and bronze here in Limerick in 2023. Choi is uh, standing on the podium for his silver medal, his second of these games. He came within a whisker of winning two golds, though. Having just got beaten by the Latvian here for this title. And earlier losing to France in the team's competition by five set points to three. So two tight matches. But Choi has shown great resilience and commitment to get to second place here in the individual competition. What a win here for Roman Sergeyevs. He would have been log odds after the qualification to win the gold. After finishing 29th in the qualifications. And he's come all the way and upset a lot of highly ranked archers. Going all the way to win the gold medal. Fantastic effort. Deservedly stands on top of the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Latvia.
Well, what a day for Roman Sugayevs of Latvia. And then gold in the under-18 individual recurve. Also on the podium today, Choi Chuljun of South Korea. And Baptiste Aris of France. And congratulations to all three of the archers in that age category. And we're going to move now to the under-21s. And we're going to start with women's action. Bronze medal match between Siu Sin Yu of Chinese Taipei and Bajan Kaua of India. And then we'll have the gold medal match, the all-Korean battle between Yom Hee Jung, who's going for her third gold medal of these games. She's going to be up against her compatriot, Oh Yi Shin. So stay with us. Well, you can see the targets are going back now to the full 70 metres for the last four matches. The under-21s here at the World Archery Youth Championships. As we get set for the women's under-21s finals. So out comes Bajan Kaua, the 17-year-old from India. And Su Sinyu of Chinese Taipei. Sue had good wins all the way through until the semi-finals before she was beaten by Yum of Korea 6-2. Other than that, her four wins have been were all dominant. She qualified ninth for the individual competition. A very fine archer is the 19-year-old. Tighter wins for Bashan Kaua through the early rounds, including a shoot-off win over one of the other Koreans, Seo Byun, 10-8. She lost 7-1 in the semis to Oh Yi Jin. Another Korean. So Jean Kaua will ranking at the moment of 38. So a very good archer. So this should be a, a really good match, Gabby. Yeah, it uh, it looks it seems really promising to me. Um, I feel like uh, Kahoot having a little more experience probably would be a little more in a, more an advantage. But we know that uh, Chinese Taipei is also really strong, so I appreciate that Sue is gonna give her a good fight. Yeah, who knows? He's gonna come through here. The rain is back, by the way, folks, as you can see. So fingers crossed, we won't get another thunderstorm delay. The arch is just pausing for the moment while the targets are being all tidied up at the other end. Heavy showers forecast through the rest of this session. Wind is as low as it's been over the past five days, which is going to be welcome. Temperature around 18 degrees, but heavy showers are Continuing to fall. And the line judge is getting prepared. So it looks like we're all set to go. But it's really good that there's no strong gusty winds today, Gabby. Yeah, I personally prefer also, uh, like I said before, uh, rain over wind. Wind is not a good ally for me. Um, uh, like, I, let's <laughs> hope, like, these two archers also prefer uh, rain instead of wind. 
Um, yeah. What what a well, look, your complicated. Your husband Mike, I've got to say, I've got to say, Mike, your, uh, your husband Mike <laughs> likes. He told us yesterday he likes the wind over the rain. He's the other way around. Yeah, that probably that's why he also started shooting compound and and well, no, he shot ringer for some time, but, uh, but that's probably the reason why he switched to compound because, yeah, I don't know. We we both think a little bit different. We see Archer in a different way, I think. <laughs> Sounds like a good discussion. So here we go with the bronze medal match underway. And it's Sue starting with an arrow that she'll would rather have again. But still early stages of the match. Bajan Kaua straight away. Open for business. Getting a 10 with your first arrow in a set really does set you up. Nine. And now Ka'ua with a very good chance here of taking the first set. And she does take that opportunity with three arrows in the yellow. So a comfortable first set win there, 28 to 25. Yeah, really nice shooting from both uh, both uh, archers. They look really strong. The techniques look really nice as well. Um, I feel like probably Sue started a, a little bit low because of the weather conditions, but she adjusted and she came back to the middle. Yeah, that's the beauty of the set scoring system, isn't it? Sue can just put that set behind her. The arrows don't count now going forward. So she can just focus on the next one. And I'm sure her nerves will settle once she gets one into the 10 zone, Gabby. Uh, she ended looked pretty strong. I feel like uh, uh, she took this first uh, set. Uh, I mean, uh, she started with a 7, uh, Kahul started with a 10. Um, pretty sure she uh, Sue, uh, saw where she was hitting. Uh, she thought it was a good shot. Um, maybe she knew already the, the set wasn't reachable and she focus uh, onto the next one. And the good thing is she knows that. And, uh, and she knows that's exactly what she has to do. So she's down by two set points to nil, the Indian in front. Sue to go first in the second set. Jean Kaua just a, a few millimeters away from opening with a 10 in the second set too. She looks in good form. There we are, the first 10 there for Sue. Wow, Kaua again, just outside the 10 zone. So Sue can win the second set with another 10. If that rain just gets a little heavier. Oh, it's an eight. So now there's an opportunity for Ka'ua to win the set. If she can get a 10. And take a decisive lead and she's just high. So that's going to be a tied set. 27 apiece, but Sue will be happy to get on the board, Gabby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about, uh, I mean, she shot her first two arrows really good. The second one, she already knew that that wasn't going to land. Her reaction was really quick after she released. Uh, she already already knew that that arrow wasn't going to land in the 10. Uh, but still pretty close to the yellow zone. Uh, on the other side, Kahur, a very, like a little bit unlucky with the two arrows that were really, really close to the 10. Um, but she need to shoot a last arrow. She need to shoot a nine to get a point in the set. In the set, and um, she looked like she has, like she has it under control. It looks really nice from both archers. Oh well, yeah, look, to under, uh, underline your um, comment there. 
Kaua, that second nine, only missed by a fraction of a millimeter. If that goes onto the line or just touches the line, she wins that set. So very small margins again. And if that had happened, it would be a 4-0 scoreline right now to the Indian rather than a 3-1 scoreline. So here's set number three now for the under-21 recurve women's bronze medal match. Nine. Most of those arrows from Sue just dropping low a little bit now. Uh, still hitting a little bit low. Maybe she is a little bit afraid. She Maybe she thinks she's the one that is shooting them there. Um, on the other side, uh, looks like a whore that she found the middle and that she does not want to get out of there. Um, yeah. And Sue got that one spot on. Gets her second 10 of the match. Jean Kaua has two as well. And... Uh, four nines, five nines in fact. So everything yellow for the Indians so far. Kaua, or rather Sue, has one eight on her scorecard. Wow, she was not happy there unsettled on the shooting line whether it was the rain or something not quite right there but a big chance now for Kaua and she takes it with a 10 great arrow there from the Indian and it's five set points to one now and don't know what happened with your with that last arrow for Sue what was your reading of it Gabby yeah I think that she probably was slipping uh, from the string I don't know it looked to me that she wasn't prepared to release a shot um, yeah, uh, yeah, it looked a little bit weird to me. Um, in my opinion, uh, if I was her, I don't know how uh, how she was, uh, how much time she had, but I would have gone all the way down and uh, prepare for the the arrow again. Um, yeah, weird. Sometimes with the conditions, with the uh, with the rain, your tab uh, gets a little bit wet, and then. You get a little bit of um, slipping on from your uh, string. I think that what you can do to solve that is prepare good from the beginning of your shot and um, and make sure that that's not going to happen. Maybe she was just uncomfortable with some of the heavy rain coming down, but she knew something wasn't right there. And couldn't make the necessary adjustments to get a good score on the target. So, Kaua, Jean Kaua now on match point. She's on five and Sue on one as we start the fourth set. Sue now needs to win the set to prolong the match. Starts off with a solid score. Kaua now has three tens and has looked very consistent with her scoring. You can see most of the nines have been close to the 10 zone all the way through the match. Eight. Whereas Sue's arrows are just a little all over the place at the moment. So Kaua can take a really solid advantage with another 10 and she has... Sue now wow. needs a 10 to have put any kind of pressure on no. Kau, and she can't do it. So a seven, in fact, it's a six or higher, isn't it, from Jean Kau will win bronze, and she does it in style with a perfect set of 30. Brilliant work there from Jean Kau. It felt like that was coming, Gabby, with her earlier sets. Fantastic performance from Kaua through this match, and she's got the bronze by seven set points to one. Wow, amazing shooting there. She just kept shooting tens and tens and tens. She was there from the beginning on. Um, I feel like Sue, uh, there were some chances that she could have taken, but like 
I mean, when your opponent is just shooting yellows like that, it, it is really difficult to um, to be able to win when you are not. Um, congratulations to her. Like she just grew in the match. 28, 27, 29, 30. Amazing shooting from Bahan Kahur. Yeah, her world ranking is attached on 38, and she really did perform to that ranking. That was an excellent performance from her. So she wins bronze, and we'll get on the podium here at Limerick. Jean Kaua. Happy days for her after a very good day's work. We've got the gold medal match coming next, and it's two Koreans going for it. Yum Hee Jung, going to be a lot of interest in whether she can win the individual. If she does, she'll have three golds here in Limerick in 2023. Her opponent, Oh Yi Jin, going for her second gold medal. But uh, for now, Bajan Ka'ua, we enjoy her win in the bronze medal match. The Indian successful. So stay with us. That gold medal match coming in just a moment. Well, the Koreans won't win four golds here in the recurve individual competition today. Won't win all the divisions with Choi's close defeat in the under 18 men's championship. And definitely going to win a gold here. Go with Yun's win in the under 18 women's with two Koreans coming out to battle for gold here. Yum Hye Jung and Oh Yi Jin. Qualified fifth and seventh for the championships here. Well, Yum won the gold in the teams and the mixed. Can she complete the treble? And here's O, the 20-year-old. Gabby both have had four wins to reach the final and in there a shoot-off victory for each of them with uh, Yum beating Sue who we just saw in the bronze medal match in the semis in a shoot-off just uh, both the archers in that match scoring nines but Yum's was closest to the center and in the 1-8 eliminations it was O taken to the brink of defeat there by Elena Edensen of Germany before she won in a shoot-off 10-8. So it's pretty similar records for both these two archers coming into this gold medal match. So it should be a very competitive match between these two. Let's get it underway with Yum starting first. Well, wow, really nice arrow to start with. They also seem to be pretty close in the in the ranking round. It was really nice to see that uh, they could forget what was happening the day of the ranking round, mm -hmm. and they shot like uh, like we're used to see Korean shooting. Um, I mean, all the, uh, now Korean final. Mm -hmm. What were you expecting? Any different? <laughs> That's right, especially in women's competition. And Yom now we need a ten here to put any pressure on O. And she's a, a radar's a little off in the first set. So O oh, with a big chance here to claim the first set. And she does so with a nine. So a two point first set win there for O oh, Yishin. So 28 to 26. 
Yes, in the ranking round, Yom had a score of 639 and 0-633. So they were pretty close. You're spot on there, Gabby. Yeah, I also feel like it was a little bit difficult. The weather, the day that they were shooting the qualification round was a little bit difficult. Uh, there was a lot of wind. Uh, we're used to see them shooting really, really high scores. Um, yeah, I really think that uh, that today was a little bit easier. They could show us what they had in the in the pocket, you know. Both very composed and just about every Korean you ever see, Gabby, when they reach a final like this, they all seem born for the big stage. Yeah, they they all do do look like they um, that they practice every day just to uh, come to tournaments and shoot the finals. Uh, pretty impressive that they, what they do. That's uh, a little surprising on the other hand, it's Yum start here. No tens in her first field, four arrows. And that's O yeah. second. Well, one point advantage with one arrow left. Yom needs a 10. And she's got one, finally. <laughs> and she's happy. She's also celebrating she's, it, yeah. <laughs> she still might lose the set, though. And oh, in fact, won't lose the set. That nine means the shit set will be shared. So tight one, that one, Gabby. Yeah, really nice from uh, Yom. I feel like she... Finally, we saw her first two shots. They look a little bit, um, a little bit, yeah, not that uh, easy to shoot. Uh, the last one looked a little bit more put together. It looked a little bit more um, with a little bit more follow through, and it looked really nice. On the other side, we see OJ Jin. Like, look like she's a little bit cold. I don't know. Like, it doesn't seem to me that she's um, having any trouble with shooting her arrows. Uh, but really nice to see this uh, this round of uh, 28s. Well, maybe that ten, that last arrow that Yom scored, that first 10, might uh, get her on the path. Now she's got a point on the board. Let's see if she can move forward from here. Three set points to one, to O. Third set now. Still going to be Yom. Here's Young to go first. It's uh, not the high scoring perhaps we would have expected, but it's still pretty compelling. Eight. Well, it's an eight there from Yum. So, oh, massive chance here. Nine. Well, she drops into the eight zone as well. Goodness me. Another tied set. What do you reckon's going on, Gabby? But I think that they are both teammates. It's a little bit diff sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say archery, but matches uh, become a little bit more difficult when you're shooting about, uh, with against your um, your teammate. Um, yeah, you're used to train together with them. You're used to shoot teams with them and stuff like that. It, it is um, pretty normal that these kind of things things happen. Well, four set points to two. But uh, just one ten from nine arrows so far for Yom and only two for O. Well, 
Let's see what happens in this fourth set now. Of course, O can win the match now by winning this set. So, here we go. Set number four in the recurve under 21 women's gold medal match. It's worth mentioning too that the wind here is as low as it's been all week as well. So you'd expect the scoring to be better. Nine. Uh, Yom getting into position now. To perhaps move forward here. Let's see what uh, O can do with this all important second arrow. Ten. Yeah, it's grabbed the line, so it's a 10. So it's a. Tight score with one arrow left. Yom needs a 10. ten. She gets one. So that's going to keep her alive in the contest. So we will be going to a deciding set. Will it be 4 all or will it be 5-3? It's going to be 5-3. What a great last and arrow from O. Four, yeah, like that's the closest arrow she shot in the then she actually went in the X ring. Um, I feel like she uh, she found her place. She looks a little bit more um, comfortable. Well, she we have seen her like she's also shooting like really good um, rounds from 28, 20. Uh, yeah, she has three 28 rounds uh, and a 26, which she uh, um, shared with Yom. But she looks really, they both look really happy. They both, that they're uh, shooting there. Probably the tens have, uh, haven't had, uh, yeah, that they are, they're not here yet, but it looks like they are both doing their best. Oh, yes. It's a interesting match, though. Four sets completed now, Gabby. Three tied sets, which is uh, unusual to see so many tied sets in a match. I think so. And I, I also think that is the gold medal match, you know, like I feel like you got there, um, you made it all the way there. And of course, uh, one, the other archer also made it all the way there. And you can expect uh, high scoring rounds from both of them. So sharing the set is not 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 something that we don't expect. Final set now. Yom needs to win the set to send it to a shoot off. Oh, taking a little bit more time with that first arrow. Still can't find the 10 zone as regularly as she would like. She has four 10s in the match. Yom has only, only has two. Nine. And her lack of 10s continues. With She's only got one arrow left. Now, oh, a 10 here will really apply for some scoreboard pressure. Nine. Just below, but remember, she only needs to tie the set to win. So last arrow now of the match. Nine. Oh, Yom, not the best form we've seen from her in these championships. So, oh, needs a nine or a 10, and she will be the gold medalist here in the individual competition. It's a seven. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. That means we're going to a shoot off. It looked like the wind was blowing a little bit harder there. Um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, when you're winning, when you need to shoot your last arrow, um, it, it can be difficult sometimes to close the match. But um, it looks like she also couldn't believe that she shot a, a, a seven. It, it was funny to see. How crazy to think as we go back through the scorecards here that Yom has only had two tens in the match from 15 arrows and even O with just three. In fact, four as I go back through on her scorecard. So the percentage of tens low from both of these very good Korean archers. But maybe you're right, going against your teammate has just put them, I don't know, not as comfortable as perhaps they might be on the shooting line normally, Gabby. 
Ah, it's really funny that um, Yom, she only shot two tens, but she also shot only two arrows outside the yellow. So that that would be like um, nine average, which is not bad with these conditions. Uh, on the other side, we see a little bit more, one more ten, I think. Yeah, we see one more ten. Um, yeah, but at the moments where she needs to to shoot the last arrow, she hasn't been delivering. I feel like um, she can be a little bit nervous. It can be, like, like I said, you train together, you are always together. Um, you are there to win together. Um, but at the end of the competition, you go there, you stand there for yourself, and yeah, you do the best you can. Um, I. I'm really happy to see a shoot off. I mean, who doesn't like a shoot off? Yeah. I, <laughs> I really feel like. We're all uh, up for a shoot off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really feel like they both. Um, they, they probably at this moment they are not liking. Uh, they don't like the. Sh they wouldn't like to shoot a shoot off. But um, I, I, yeah, I think that that's how a medal match should be decided. Well, let's see what happens. Yum's dreams of winning three gold medals still there thanks to that last arrow from her opponent. So can Yum on screen here win three golds at these World Archery Youth Championships? All she needs to do is be closest to the centre in this one arrow shoot off against Oh Yi Jun, her compatriot. So here we go, the one arrow shoot off to decide the gold medal. It's going to be Yom to go first. Well, it's a low nine, so plenty of room for O to get closer to the centre. And she does it. It's going to be gold to O Yijin. Not by much, but it's enough. It's a nine for both archers, but O definitely closer to the centre right there. And it's going to be double gold for her, and it's only going to be double gold for Yom. I only say only, but she's got a silver as well now. But oh, as we went through that match, Gabby, was arguably the more consistent of the two archers in that match. Yeah, it looked like she probably was thinking about it. Would have been, I mean, we see that... Uh, we see that the Korean archers are really good. We see An San winning three gold medals at the Olympics. I mean, that that probably would have been in the back of her mind. Um, but yeah, she kept fighting until the end. The last arrow uh, probably wasn't the best for, for her. Uh, she shot a nine. She, she also shot a, a lot of nines. She couldn't find the middle, the middle of the target in this match. But I would be also really happy with two gold medals and, uh, and an individual silver medal. On the other side, I feel like, oh, uh, Jejin, she looked really complete from the beginning. She looked like she was doing 100% um, good. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, she can be happy with, with how she shot today. Yep, brilliant effort from O and the, the Korean women's team again in the under 21s so successful at all age groups so it wasn't yom's day today as we get set for the victory ceremony which is coming shortly and then we'll move to the under 21 men's bronze medal match between matthias kramer of germany and ayer dung sang of china and then we'll follow that with the Gold medal match between Path Sushant Sulunki of India and Song Injun of Korea. So those are the two matches to come. Should be terrific contests here in Limerick to close the 2023 World Archery Youth Championships.
congratulations, gold medal here in Limerick. How are you feeling? 축하드립니다. 리머리 세계 유수 선수권 대회에서 금메달을 따셨습니다. 소감이 어떠십니까? 세계 대회에서 첫 금메달을 리머리에서 따게 되어서 너무 기쁘고요. 한국 선수와 같이 경기를 했지만 제가 더 좋은 성과를 이뤘지만 다 같은 수고를 한 한국 팀에게 감사를 표합니다. I'm happy with the gold medal today uh, here in Rimerick for Youth World Championship and the opponent was a Korean teammate so a bit uh, sorry about that but uh, I, I'm quite uh, happy and uh, yeah, congratulations to my teammates as well. And it was a very very tight match not much um, separated you two at the end. How was the pressure of that final arrow? 그 경기가 상당히 타이트했고 마지막 그 화살까지 이제 이제 쏘게 되면서 승부가 결정이 됐는데 어그 부담감이나 그때 분, 그 느낌이 어땠나요? 어 긴장이 안 됐다면 거짓말이니까 긴장은 됐지만 최대한 즐기면서 다 피가 되고 살이 되라고 생각하면 썼습니다. So if I tell, if I I'm telling you uh, uh, I was not nervous with, uh, with the situations, but uh, I tried to control all the situations un under the pressure. And I thought that uh, every moment, every circumstance here in Rimuri uh, at the finals will be helpful uh, for, my, for my future. So uh, I tried to focus on my shooting. And then with your future, after this big win here, what are your hopes for the next, um, well, coming up for the upcoming um, events? 어, 개인전 오늘 우승을 하셨는데 어, 그 개인적인 향후 미래 계획은 어떻게 되십니까? 어, 한국에서 제일 크게 열리는 체전에서 좋은 성과를 이루고 싶고 내년에 파리 올림픽을 목표로 하고 있습니다. First I have uh, uh, I can do well uh, in, in the national championship. Uh, we we have a national sports festival which is the biggest one in Korea. So I I, I want to be uh, the medal list in, in the national uh, festivals. And second, I want to be a national member uh, again uh, for the next years uh, for, for Paris Olympics. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, very respectful, wasn't she? Oh, Yi Jin. Winner of the gold medal in the other 21s will be back for the victory ceremony shortly. So stay with us here in Limerick. Now for the victory ceremony for the women's under 21 recurve individual here in Limerick here at the World Archery Youth Championships. was Bajan Kua in the bronze medal match. Very impressive. Six tens out of her 12 arrows, three of them in the last set for a perfect set. Nothing in the red zone. She was uh, excellent. And to 
deservedly beat Sue to win the bronze medal. She's experienced already three times in the World Cups. So again, a 17-year-old on the rise. She couldn't quite get three golds in these championships, but two golds and a silver is not too bad. Didn't see her at her best today, but still took the match to a shirt off and was only just beaten by her compatriot. Wonderful week for Yum Hye Jung of Korea. Oh, Yejin's day today as she stands on top of the podium, gets her second gold of these games, and also won a gold in the women's team's event. So many great women's archers down through the years coming out of Korea, and they've got another two very good prospects here. There she is, the winner of the recurve under 21 title here in Limerick. Oh, Yejin of Korea. Wow, Korean dominance and archery continues. And the women's under 21s with another gold here to Oh Ye Jun of that country. Yum gets the silver and bronze for Bajan Kaua of India. So we have two matches to end the session. And it's men's under 21's action coming in just a moment. Well, here we go with the under 21 recurve men's matches just as the rain starts to threaten again. And now please welcome the athletes to the Fires Kramer of, of Germany. Up against Erin Sung of China. 
two 19-year-olds. Kramer's done well, the 13th seed to get through to the last four. Yen and Sung was the sixth highest archer in the ranking round. Both very good archers. So Kramer. In all of his matches fairly comfortably took out the fourth seed from Japan. Funahashi in the 12th seed in the quarterfinals. Huang from Chinese Taipei before losing to the top seed, Path Sushant Salunki, 6 4 in the semis. And Yen Sung was involved in a shoot off in the quarterfinals against Javier. Marida of Spain beat him. The both archers getting into the 10 zone, but Arin Sung was closer to the center before losing to Song and Jun of Korea in the semis. Six set points to four. So a close loss there. So it should be a good match, this one. Arin Sung already a silver medalist here in the men's teams event. And he starts off with a nine. Excellent support for both archers. Germany, good to see that country represented for a medal. Haven't won a medal at these championships, so Kramer, all the country's hopes rest on him in this match. So 26 for Yen Sung, and now Kramer can win it with a 10. And he done it. Brilliant stuff there from the German. A little wobbly in those first two arrows there, Gabby, but he came good at the end. Yeah, I feel like Matthias has a little bit more of experience. He seems to be pretty uh, comfortable in uh, seeing what he's doing. Um, he said a little bit on the left side, he corrected, and uh, now he found the middle. Uh, they both looking pretty good. I feel like also, um, Germany uh, had like uh, the wish to be also in the finals. We're used to seeing them a lot. We, we know that, for example, the German uh, women's girl is also, women's uh, team is also um, really, really competitive. Uh, we saw not that long ago, I think it was two weeks ago, um, Florian Unru winning the European Games. So we know Germans, uh, German archers are really strong and that's what Matthias is showing us today. Matthias Kramer, of course, yes, Lisa Unruh, Florian Unruh, Michelle Cropan, all very good archers, all hovering around the top in the world rankings. Florian and Lisa, of course, been there a while now. And now, let's see if uh, Kramer can become the next wave of German archers to make a splash at international level. He's off and uh, to a good start here. He's leading 2-0. Back-to-back 10s -back for Kramer. Well, Eden Sung has got to make adjustments quickly. Otherwise, this match could slip away from him very quickly. Better. It's just grabbed the 10 line for his first maximum. He didn't sing shot very well in that team's gold medal match. Hopefully he can get his best form. Kramer drops into the seven zone, but that will be enough to still win the set. Target was nice and big there for him, Gabby, and he 
He pretty much needed all of it. Uh, getting a little never seen this match. I feel like they both have a lot of talent to win it. Uh, but, you know, like it's always the last arrow, the one that decides who's going to take the, the set. Uh, we have seen uh, all this week the circumstances, the weather conditions have been a little bit difficult for the archers. But it seems to be that uh, Matias has just that that one factor that is making him winning this uh, back to back sets. Yeah, he's jumped out to a 4 0 lead with scores of 27 and 26, Gabby. Now, normally, that probably wouldn't be enough to lead four set points to nil, would it? But it is in this one. Well, I think the nerfs are playing a little bit here in the bronze medal final. You know, uh, sometimes uh, you want to do better than you can, but just what you can is, an, is enough. But um, this medal this medal match is to decide who's going to go home with with a medal and who's going to go home with empty hands when still just a touch from the south it's picking up a little bit in strength now now Arian Singh needs something out of this set to prolong the match having lost the first two sets It's not been a heavily scored scoring match so far. So he knows if he can get three yellow scores here, he'll be competitive. Kramer is of the same mindset. Looks like you start to rain a little bit there in Limerick. Uh, looks like it's uh, just missed the nine zone, that one. That one definitely has. So a tight score with one arrow left. Big arrow here for Irin Sung. He needs a 10 here to definitely prolong the match. He doesn't get one. That means the door's open here for Kramer. This is a match-winning arrow right here. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Still going to get a point out of the set. Will Matthias Kramer, but it is five set points to one. I always circle those arrows, Gabby, because those ones there are match winning arrows, and sometimes all you get is one chance to win a match. Yeah, I feel like um, sometimes it can be really difficult to close a set. Like I said before, the pressure is in you. The weather conditions are not 100%. You just want to finish the match. And um, yeah, it's really funny to see that it's costing him a little bit more. We see uh, the Chinese archer without a coach again. Um, a little bit difficult. Maybe he's a little bit nervous. He needs someone to help him calm down. Uh, but now that he's got a point, probably it's a little bit different. He probably feels a little bit more confident. And um, let's see what happens the this next end. Well, it's been super solid so far from Kramer. But again, the highest set score in the match so far is t only 27. And that was by Kramer in the first set. So nothing close to... A perfect set for either Archer so far. Now, there's a second 10 of the match there for Yerin Sung. Yerin Sung's got to win these last two sets to take it to a shoot off. Be remarkable if he can do it. Oh, yes. Now he's starting to display the form we saw from him in that team's gold medal match against Korea. Well, the Chinese archer in control of this third set. Rather, this fourth set. 28. That will be enough to take the match to a deciding set. Nice comeback from Kramer there to finish with his third 10 of the match. But 
Arjun Singh is going to take it by a point. 28 to 27, and it's five set points to three now, Gabby. It looked like Matias was really happy with his last shot. He knew already the, the set was unreachable, and he took the chance to, break, to shoot a practice arrow. Um, really nice to see that he got in the middle. Um, pretty curious to see what's going to happen. It looks like uh, the Chinese archer is just growing in the match. It looks like he's a little bit shaky, like he couldn't find the middle, but it looks like he's back in there, and um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, Arian Singh has got four eights on his scorecard in 12 arrows. That's uh, not a great percentage, but he's still in the match fighting. That's all that really matters. So here we go, the final set. Kramer's still on match point. Maybe he could have won the match with that last arrow of that third set. Lots of twists and turns in this match. Whoa. Amazing there. That, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. I feel like he's taking his chances. He knows he he cannot do anything but shoot them. And, um, yeah. Well, Kramer opens with a seven. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, Yes. This one is looking very good now for Arjun Singh. We're looking like we're going to a shoot-off in this match. So, a seven or higher, and we're off to a shoot-off. Yes. That will be good enough. What a comeback here from Arian Sang. Another seven. Kramer's form has slipped substantially in that final set, even though that last arrow didn't matter. But look, we're off to a shoot off, five set points each. And it's all the momentum to this archer right here from China, Arian Sang. I feel like he's getting comfortable in the shooting line. He, uh, we, we were asking for high scoring ends and he's giving us that. I feel like um, he can be pretty confident going to into the shoot off. Uh, on the other side, Matias, he just need to remember what he was doing in the beginning of the match and um, just stay calm, shoot his arrow, trust it. So it's all gonna come down to one arrow in this match for the bronze medal. Tyus Kramer of Germany looking to get into that happy zone. Arjun Singh looks very strong at the moment. Can he produce one more great arrow to win the bronze medal? meters away the archers patiently wait all in the hands now of the two archers second consecutive match that's gone to a shoot off so it's nice and tense here in Limerick, the bronze medal, the reward for the archer that will be closest to the centre. So here we go, one arrow shoot off for the bronze medal here at the World Archery Youth Championships in the under 21 recurve competition. It's gonna be China's Erian Sung to go first.
He's got a 10, but it's on the outside of the zone. So Kramer, closer than that, he wins bronze. Oh, that's close. I reckon the Germans pinched it. I reckon Kramer might have got there. What pressure from Matthias Kramer. Fantastic effort there. Arjen Sung's great comeback in this match has come up just short with Matthias Kramer. Just double checking. He wants to look himself and rightly so, Gabby. Yeah, I feel like uh, he he looked like he was really prepared for, to shoot the arrow. He looked like he was really under control of the what he was doing. He looked like um, like it looked like one of his first arrows from this match. He was the timing was perfect. The position of the hands was perfect. Everything was just uh, on point to to shoot this arrow shoot off. And yeah, congratulations to him. I feel like um, like. He got a little bit lost in the match, but he found himself back. Well, he could have won it in that third set, remember? He could have won it 6-0. Uh, but in the end, he took the scenic route to the bronze medal. But it doesn't matter as long as you get to the end successfully. So well done to Kramer, who absorbed that scoreboard pressure beautifully there. Arjen Singh should walk away with a lot of credit too, but he won't win a bronze medal. So well done to Kramer. That leaves just the one match left and it's for the gold medal. And we're going to have Pass Sushant Salunki of India out shortly against Song Injun of Korea. Final match of the recurve individuals will be the gold medal match in the under-21 men's. And it's going to be between Path Sushant Salunki of India, the top seed, up against the seventh seeded Song and Jun of Korea. Salunki finished the ranking round in 672, 37 tens. Song 649 with 25 tens. And Salunki has been involved in one shoot-off win on his way to the gold medal match. That was over Larcher from Turkey back in the 1-8 eliminations. Beat Matthias Kramer 6-4 from Germany in the semis. And Song and Jun from Korea has won all of his matches pretty well. No shoot-offs required in his four victories. He beat Arian Sung of China 6-4 in the semi-finals. Song, remember, won gold as part of the men's teams competition, beating China 5-3. Salunki, we've seen him win bronze in the mixed teams with Reedy. So both have stood on the podium here. Song going for his second gold medal of these games. So Salunki, though, very good archer. He's currently ranked 37 in the world, which is an excellent effort for a 19-year-old. He is one to watch for sure. So let's see if he can claim gold for India. Oh, very loose arrow to start there from Song and Jun. He's got to put that out of his mind and move on. That eight gives the opportunity for Song to come back into this contest in the first set. Nine. 
So Linky with his last arrow at 10 will win the set. Well, Song can grab a share of it. Now, if he gets the first 10 of the match. And he does. That's what the Korean archers can do. They just so good at scoring heavy when they need to, Gabby. And he shares the set with a seven on the scorecard. Very impressive. Yeah, it's really funny to see. I feel like we have two really experienced archers here. We have uh, Salunki. Uh, he's been in world, uh, world championships before. And uh, Song been in the Youth Olympic Games as well in 2018. I feel like they both know what to do. They know, they know how to do it. Uh, probably the first hour was a little bit nervy, you know, like coming from, uh, it's the last match of the day, coming from uh, shooting, I don't know, like at 12, finishing the, their last competition. And um, yeah, I feel like they both, uh, yeah, they gave us this round. I feel like uh, the, the score was a little bit low and I think that they can give us a better show. <laughs> uh, so Luki trying to get into that happy zone. So Lunky did win gold at the last World Youth Championships in Rocklaw in Poland. He was part of the team that won the team's gold medal in the under 21s two years ago. Love nothing more to win a second gold medal at a World Youth Championships right now. Oh, it's uh, been ruled an eight. Could be a nine that one. Gabby, what do you reckon? I do believe it's a nine. It's really close to the line. Um, he looked like he was a little bit surprised when he shot the arrow. Um, I think that he was expecting the arrow to land in a different spot. Uh, but they both looking pretty good. Nine. There's no doubt, about, no doubt about that nine. So Song looks like, provisionally anyway, he's got a one-point advantage with one arrow left. So Lunky desperately needs a 10 here. Hasn't had one yet. Oh, and it drops low as well. So Lunky not quite uh, finding his, his range early in this match. So this gives the opportunity for Song to move clear. If he can get a nine, he'll definitely seal it. Oh, and he gets a 10. That's how to do it. Very good arrow there from Song. So he's taken the doubt about that first arrow right out there, Gabby, and he's won the second set. Yeah, it looks like both archers have pretty good grouping. Uh, Salunki having a little bit low, uh, a low group. Uh, with a 9-8-8 eight, eight. and uh, Song, he just looks like he found his place. He had his her, her, her arrow really, really close to the 9. Um, and the next one, it was even really oh, even closer to the 10. And the last one ending up being a 10. It looked like he's making good adjustments. Yeah, Song looking very solid. Two 10s on his scorecard. None for Salunki just yet. Three eights and three nines. He's going to have to improve to stay in touch here. Still an opportunity, though. Slunky gets three good arrows away here, and he's right back in the contest, Gabby. Yeah, I feel like uh, we are just two ends away from... Uh, I'm sorry, we're just two ends into the match. Um, I feel like he needs to keep fighting. Uh, he has, like I said, he has really good groups. He knows how to shoot uh, tens. He qualified first. Um, so I, I just think that he needs to be a little bit calm and uh, just adjust his sight and do what he knows the best. Yeah, you feel if Salunki can get a 10, that will settle the nerves, but he's just all dropping those arrows just a touch low at the moment. Need to make adjustments and quickly. Nine. That's better. 
And that's a beauty right on the X. Now will he get hot now, Salunki? That's the second time he's now drifted out into the red zone. Salunki. Yes, that's going to be enough to win the third set and get the match back to even Stevens. So Salunki, not at his best, Gabby. There's a touched on. He's got three decent arrows away here. And now he's got a big chance of moving forward. I think he was probably warming up. Uh, the first end in the uh, finals venue can be a little bit uh, difficult. I feel like on the other side, the Korean, he also wasn't shooting like 100%, 26, 28. Um, there, those are not super, super high scores. Uh, but I feel like uh, Salunki found himself and uh, let's see what what happens, you know? Like, and now they're like 3-3. Three, three. Um, I'm pretty sure they have been um shooting for today training for today uh thinking uh going to bed thinking about today um i'm pretty sure that they are gonna try to do their best to get that arrow bring that arrow home bring that medal home i'm sorry well it's three set points each with two sets to go beautifully poised match for the under-21 men's gold medal. Pass Sushant Salunki of India up against Song Injun of Korea. Fourth set now. This is more like it from Salunki. Now, it's Song who's going through some battles right now. Last four arrows, nine, eight, nine, eight. Mm -hmm. oh, he knows that's Pretty solid nice enough. Really nice arrow there. <laughs> yeah. Really nice arrow there. <laughs> nine. So here's a chance for Salunki again. A nine or higher. And he'll take the lead and go to match points. And he's done it. And now there is a good stride in him. He's looking much more confident. Body language is very positive for the Indian. And it's a nine there for Song. So he's going to need to find his best form to now take this match to a shoot-off. Excellent end. That's the best uh, set in the match. Salunki so scored 26, 25, 28, 29. So much better in the last two. And Song's output has fallen as the match has gone on. Second consecutive set there, Gabby, of 26. Uh, really funny to see that uh, he's been shooting uh, 26, 28, 26, 26. Um, I feel like in the beginning of the match, he was probably setting... Yeah, Salunki was setting his side and he was a little bit nervous. We see him a little bit um, uh, a little bit looser, in my opinion. Uh, on the other side, Song, yeah, I feel like he's not giving us his best. Uh, I think that to recover from, from this 5-3 uh, um, deficit, he needs to uh, shoot up uh, a good end. But Salunki is just on fire. He's just been delivering 10 after 10 after 10 and... Um, that's what he needed to put a song in this situation. So Tarth, Sushant Salunki, you can see what it means to him. He's one point away from victory. Just need to tie the set. Song those challenge. We will challenge him. First 10 there of the final set. Salunki puts himself. In a stronger position right now. Nine. 
Two nines from Song. Solid archery from him, but Salunki. Back-to-back tens. He knows one more, and it's done. Back he now knows that target is going to be nice and big for the last arrow for him. Especially now with another eight there for Song. So he locks in 26. He knows. I think he's conceded the match pretty much. Salunki needs just a six or higher. And he gets an eight. But that will be enough. And it's gold to India. In the under 21 recurve. Wonderful win there for Salunki. Started off a little shaky. But came home strong. With five tens. Scattered through the last three sets. That's pretty good percentage. So Lunky's going to win the final set by 28 to 26 and claim victory by seven set points to three. It was really nice to see how Indian archers were shooting so professional today. I personally think that uh, Kahur and Su Salunki gave us the show today. I'll give it to them. I feel like uh, they show us uh, how strong uh, archery is in India. Really nice to see how strong they are as a team. Yeah, you're right. Second gold medal for India on the day. So well done to the Indian team. They've had a, a very successful campaign. We saw Avni Kau in the compound go very well through the tournament as well. So congratulations to the Indian team. They've been one of the stronger countries at these World Archery Youth Championships. So that ends the coverage. Just one victory ceremony to go. And uh, we'll have that men's under 21 victory ceremony for you very shortly. So stay with us for that. Here is our coverage continues. Congratulations. Big win here today. Um, how are you feeling? It's a great feeling that I could be a world champion here. And I would like to thank my loved ones to, who supported me and guided me. This one's for you. Fantastic. And uh, quite a tough game today, quite a tough, quite a tough match. Quite close at points. Uh, how did you get over that? 
so uh, the wind was quite tricky so it was hard to judge according to the wind but yeah i maintained my composure so i was composed i was focused and i was dedicated that yes i'm going to win so that's how i get through all that obstacles brilliant and then in the future what are you what are you looking forward to what are your hopes and your dreams my dream is to be a world champion in senior level and an olympic champion fantastic congratulations well done thank you Well, great job there from Path Sushant Saluki. Deserved winner of the under 21 men's title. So we've just got that victory ceremony to come, which is uh, not too far away. Well, out come the archers representing India, Korea, and Germany. For the medals for the under 21 men's recurve. Well, that was just about the most dramatic result today, wasn't it, Kramer? Yeah, the match seemingly all wrapped up right at the end of the third set. And he had a chance to win it. Six set points to zero against Adian Chung of China. Didn't do so. Back came the Chinese arch and they all went to a shoot off. And Kramer and Adian Singh both inside the 10 zone with Kramer just a tiny bit closer. So he gets the bronze medal. Great effort there from the 17-year-old or the 19-year-old German. Silver medal representing Republic of Korea, Song Yijun. Oh, Song. He'd love to have another crack at it, wouldn't he? He didn't uh, score as heavy as he would have hoped. Just two tens in the, in the five-set match from him. But still a great effort for him to win his second medal of these games, having won gold in the men's teams. And they beat China by five to three. So he gets a silver medal in the individual. This is a popular winner. Pasu Shansalunki stood on top of the podium back in uh, 2021 as part of the winning, winning men's team. Now he stands on top of the podium here in Limerick as an individual winner. Great achievement for the top seed. He was uh, a dominant figure all the way through this competition and won the goal by beating Song by seven points to three.
Well, a deserved winner there. Pat Sushant Salunki of India getting the gold in the under-21 men's recurve. Song and Jun of Korea getting the silver and Matthias Kramer of Germany getting there just to win the bronze medal. Three great archers and deserved medalists. Yeah, in the last event of what's been a very good World Archery Youth Championships here in Limerick in Ireland. Well, Gabby, it's been a uh, interesting week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really nice to see what uh, what the new upcoming generations of archery are going to bring. Um, uh, to be honest, I, I want to talk about a match that I enjoyed a lot. It was uh, Kahur, uh, the Indian archer, shooting really, really good today. I feel like all Indian archers put a show this week. Um, it was recurve compound. Everything was like super enjoyable. Um, we had other archers as well that like, to be honest, I'm a shooter fan and I love to see all the shooters from today and from um, and up. Uh, it was also really nice to see that the conditions were a little bit better today so the archers could shoot comfortably because it was like uh really difficult for the other ones for the other days as well um so yeah yes indeed as we check out the highlights of the day's play well done to yeni hayat of turkey who won bronze in the under 18s in the women's and then it was yun taking gold in the for korea in the under 18 women's. We move to the men's. Here's the top seed, Adis, losing in the semis, but bouncing back to win the bronze medal against C of Chinese Taipei. And then we got the Latvian taking the gold medal. Romans Sergeyev's great win for him. Choi from Korea just beaten near the end. Six set points to four. A popular winner was the Latvian. Then we move to the under 21s, and you've just mentioned Bajan Kaua. How good was she in that bronze medal match? Arguably the best archer of the day. She certainly scored heavily, and Sue really couldn't keep in touch with her. Oh, beating Yum in the under-21 gold medal match. Yum, two golds and a silver. Arguably the most successful of the archers here all week. But Oh, just pipping her for top spot today. Women's archery in Korea continues to be as strong as ever. And then finally, the under-21 men's Kramer. Well, he could have won it early in the match, but came through just against Arian Sung in the shoot-off. And then Salunki started slow against Song, but came through nicely with five tens in the last three sets. Scored big when he needed to, and it was gold for India in the under-21 men's. Well, we hope you enjoyed coverage of the World Archery Championships here from Limerick in 2023. My thanks to Mike and Gabby Schlosser. Great job, guys. And Gabby, all the best to you over the next few months and into next year as well. Looking forward to seeing you compete as strongly as you ever have in your competitions coming up. All the best to you. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for allowing me to join you this weekend. It was really fun. All right, we thank you for watching as well from Ireland. Have a good day wherever you're watching around the world.